Welcome to this module of Professor Messer's free CompTIA a certification training course on disk management tools. I'm James Messer, and in this module, we're going to discuss the requirements from our practical application exam. That's the 22702 exam. And section 2.3 says that we need to understand how to select and use system utilities and tools and evaluate the results. And we're going to focus on some disk management tools. Specifically, we'll learn how to run a defragmentation, how to work with backups on our system, and how to run a check disk and see if our disk is really working the way we expect it to. If you've done much disk management in Windows, then you know that you can really go to the computer management screen and find and access almost any of these capabilities. That's under your Control Panel, Administrative Tools, Computer Management, and inside of there you can choose the Disk Management option. And a lot of the things that we're going to talk about in this module can be launched from this particular screen. I'm also going to show you in this module how you can access a number of these defragmentation and check disk functionalities without having to go all the way into the computer management screen. So very often in Windows, of course, there's multiple ways to do one thing. So now you know exactly different ways that you could use to launch some of these very common functions. Let's start with the defragmentation process. This is one where you can really improve the efficiency of your computer by taking files that have been fragmented all over your hard drive and bringing them all back so they're contiguous, which means every sector of the file is stored one right after the other. When files are stored to your hard drive, pieces of the files can really be stored anywhere. It's the index that's on our hard drive that keeps track of where all these little pieces parts are. So the functionality is still there, but because these different parts of the file are scattered everywhere, it takes a little bit of time for the drive head to move to that particular sector, read a little bit of the file, move to another sector on the drive, read another little bit of the file. If everything was in one place and you could read it all in one fell swoop, it makes it so much easier. And that's what the defragmentation process does, is it takes pieces of files from all over the drive and puts them all contiguously in one place. There is a graphical version right in the disk properties. And you can click a defragmentation now, and it will go through that process. If you're at the command line, simply type in defrag, and you can run the defragmentation process from there. Let's see how we started the defragmentation on my Windows Vista machine here. I'm going to right mouse click down here on the Windows Start and click Explore. And let's go all the way up to our local disk drive, Drive C. And I'm going to right mouse click on Drive C and choose Properties. And that will bring us up to this Properties view for this drive. And you can see there's a Tools tab inside of there. And this is exactly where we'll run those functions we'll talk about in this module. The error checking, the defragmentation, and the backup can all be accessed from that Tools tab. For de defragmentation, I can click this button that says Defragment now. And because it's got the little shield next to it, you already know that you're going to get a prompt that says Windows needs your permission to continue. And we do want to run the disk defragmenter. It's going to bring us up into this screen that says it's going to consolidate fragmented files on our hard disk to improve performance. You'll notice, by the way, that in Windows Vista, there's already a schedule set up to do this. And it's going to run at 1 AM every Wednesday starting at 1 1 2005. That means that we don't have to do this every day or every week or every month on a regular schedule, Windows already knows that this is a great way to improve performance. So it's going to run it automatically in a schedule. And you can modify that schedule. You could choose different volumes to be able to run the defragmentation process. Or if you'd like to defragment right now, you can say, yes, I'd like to do everything. Let's do just drive C in this case and click OK. And it's going to now start up and do a defragmentation. And it tells you it could take a few minutes. It could take a few hours to do this, depending on how big your drive is, how many files are on the drive, and just how defragmented they might be. One thing that I mention often in these videos in my weekly podcast is to always have a backup. You should always take your files, copy them to another drive, put them on something that you can have locally, take another copy, and take it off site. Always have a way to get back that information. These hard drives and this data is becoming more and more valuable to us all the time. We need to make sure we have copies of those available. Fortunately, within Windows and Windows Vista, there is a backup and restore process that you can use. You can go into All Programs, Accessories, System Tools, and there's a backup status and configuration. 
both on our Windows 2000, Windows XP, and Vista, we have options for backing up this data. We can back up and restore individual files. We can also do a complete PC backup, take the entire contents of this machine, back up the entire thing. And if something was to happen to this computer, we could put in our Windows installation media, and there's an option on there to restore from a complete PC backup, and it would restore everything to the brand new drive. You can also launch this from the command line with NT Backup that goes back to the Windows NT days, still has the same name associated with it. And this will also create for us a bootable recovery disk. If we don't have our recovery media, we can also take a disk that we can use instead of that to boot from. A nice capability. We can, of course, use that selection that I showed you to go through the menus on this, the computer. But we're here at the local C properties anyway to do our defragmentation. You can see right below it is a backup option that will back up the files on this volume. And so you can choose there that says you've not done any type of automatic file backup. On my computer system in my office, I have external USB drives that are always connected. And this is what I use to back up all of my files. I have not only the backup file function to automatically set up a file backup, I also have it do entire images of my drive as well. So I can go back to individual files and restore different versions of individual files on my hard drive. Or if something catastrophic was to happen, I can restore the entire hard drive. So I'm covered either way. I've got a good backup of some of that information. And I take up pieces of those backups, and I take them off site just to make sure. To set up an automatic file backup, I can click here. And it's going to say that Windows needs my permission to continue. Yes, I would like it to continue. And we can choose to back up files. Notice you can back them up to an external hard drive or a CD or a DVD drive, or perhaps over the network and put it on a separate network accessible device. By using this backup process, we can set it up to work automatically. It can be scheduled, and we don't even have to think about it. So if you're running a Windows operating system, you may want to consider just getting a very large external USB drive. They're relatively inexpensive these days. Plug it in and have Windows back up to it automatically. You may be very glad you did. The check disk process on our computer system makes sure that the entire file structure inside of our computer is very in very good shape. We want to be sure that there's no problems with the integrity of that index, because it's that index that keeps track of everything. We also want to be sure that the hard drive in our computer and every little part of that hard drive is operating properly. So occasionally, we may want to make sure there are no physical disk problems on there whatsoever. The Check Disk program does this for us. It allows us to check and make sure our indexing is good and make sure that there's no problems with the physical drive itself. We're going to choose the graphical front end for our check disk. But notice there's also an option at the command line to run check disk just by typing in chkdsk, hit Enter, and we can run through some check disk processes. If you go back to our video on command line tools and utilities, then you know that there are a couple of check disk uh, command line functions you can use that can fix things on your disk and check it for physical disk problems as well. Since we're, of course, we're at our local C disk properties, we have this option right at the top for error checking. And if we click this, it will check the volume for errors. And we'll get a prompt that says Windows needs our permission to continue. Yes, you may. So you can say, please automatically fix any file system errors you might run into. You also have the option to scan for and attempt recovery of any bad sectors that might be there. So you can really check the drive and make sure that it's where it should be. And if we click Start, it will begin the process of checking the disk. It may take a number of minutes or even longer if we do the bad sectors. But we'll know at the end of this whether it really was able to get all the way through the drive without any errors. Or it may prompt us to say, we need to fix some problems. Click here to to resolve any issues that we find on this hard drive. Let's see what we've learned now with our disk management tools. Our first question is, what functionality can repair file system issues? Well, if you recall, there was a function right there in our system properties for the drive where we could turn on the ability to check the disk. We also see a button there for error checking. It does the same thing. And if you run it, wanted to run that from the command line, it's chkdsk. The next question is, what command line function defragments the hard drive. We can also run this from the command line. 
with a defrag option, but you'll remember we also have a button to press if you wanted to defragment that information right then. And the last question is, where can you find the backup configuration utility? A number of the questions that you get on the CompTIA exam expect you to know where in the menu system some of these utilities are. So you need to recall that it's under All Programs, Accessories, System Tools, Backup Status, and Configuration. And of course, we were able to click the button to back up right from the properties of the system volume that we were concerned about. This covers the requirements we needed for our 22702 Section 2.3, where we needed to be able to use some of these system utilities to defragment, to back up our system, and to check our disk. If you'd like to watch any of our absolutely free a videos, you'd like to participate in our message boards or send me a message, you can visit our website at freeaplus.com.